and today I'm going to be reading Leading an Inspired Life by Jim Rohn. Um, once and once we've applied our knowledge, we must study the results of our process and refine our approach. I know. Yeah. Finally, by trying and observing and refining and trying again, our knowledge will inevitably produce worthy, admirable results. With the joy and results of our efforts, we continue to feel our ambition with the positive reinforcement of continued progress. Pretty soon, we f we're f we'll find we're swept into a spiral of achievement, a vertical rise of success. And the ecstasy of that total experience makes the life triumphant over tragedy, dullness, and mediocrity. With this whole pro but for this whole process to work for us, we must first master the art of consistent self-discipline. It takes consistent self-discipline to master the arts of setting goals, time management, leadership, parenting, and relationships. If we don't make consistent self-discipline part of our daily lives, the results we seek will be sporadic and elusive. It takes a consistent effort to truly manage our valuable time. Without it, we'll be consistently frustrated. Our time will be eaten up by others whose demands are stronger than our own. So basically he's talking about like trying again and then refining and that's how like you get successful and then you also have to need discipline to be successful too. Discipline is like a really big role. So I said kids is a book written by me and my brother about how kids can help their parents in their business. And Aliens Stole My Homework is a book written by my brother about a kid named Ned and how he stopped aliens from stealing his homework. And Kobe Soup is a book written by me about a guy named Bob and how he found a delicious soup to eat. When he discovered the ingredients, he was shocked. And these books are on Amazon, so you can buy them there. Okay, hope you like that. If you did, please like and subscribe. Bye.